you are in college, in subcontinent, uh, even if you are a, a freshman or a sophomore in an engineering student uh, and trying to learn digital electronics, uh, more specifically trying to uh, you know, use some logic to create an application. In this case, this is going to be a four bit adder. I'll try to keep it as simple as I can and I'm really excited about it because uh, this just looks absolutely gorgeous. This is a beautiful circuit which you see on the screen right now. And the way it's working is basically it's going to add the two 4-bit numbers and going to display the result uh, using these blue LEDs as well as you see the answer being displayed on the 7 segment as well. So for example, right now the logic for the input A. Input A is basically the four LEDs in green. Input B is the four LEDs in yellow. And then if you add the two four bit numbers, you will get a five bit number, okay? So this LED right here, uh, the most significant bit is actually a carry out bit, whereas this is some three, some two, some one, and some not, okay? All right, so say right now we are adding one plus one, it gives you two, two makes a code of one zero on this blue LEDs and also being displayed here as well. Say I want to add seven plus seven, so zero triple one, right? So with the switches, uh, logic being displayed also on um, LEDs, the zero triple one makes a code for seven, seven plus one is eight, eight makes a code of one triple zero uh, with blue LEDs and 8 is being displayed as well. If I want to do 7 plus 7, say, or 7 plus 2 maybe, so 7 plus 2, now 7 plus 2 is 9. Now remember, this can only count uh, on a 7 segment display, display, it's only gonna display up to any number between 0 and 9 which we can change if we need to but I'm not gonna bother about that part however if you look at the LEDs they are definitely going to give you an answer which could be more than 9 so for example 7 plus 2 9 uh, if I want to do 7 plus 7 that would be 14 right so 7 plus 7 14 14 makes a code of triple one zero if I want to do all LEDs high on input A that makes 15 15 plus 7 is 22 and you see 22 being displayed over here 10110 on the blue LEDs that makes a code for 22 right so I'm going to split this video into two parts and the first part I am going to show you how you can uh, make this 4-bit adder and the answer is going to be displayed in blue LEDs but in the second part I'm going to show you how you can use 7 segment decoder and hook it up to a 7 segment to display your answer as well so now that you have seen the end result let's get rolling and try to make this circuit now this is Tinkercad I have done many videos before if you're not familiar with Tinkercad, I'll leave the link in the, subs uh, in the description box where you could go and watch those videos. So I'm not gonna go in too much of detail. The interface is pretty simple. And I'll try to explain as much as I can, but I'm not going to go into tiny bit of detail because I've already made several videos on how to get started on Tinkercad. So let's get rolling. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to replicate this circuit, right? So therefore we need a breadboard here. I'm going to pick up the big breadboard because we need a lot of space. And then first thing I need is a battery. Choose here. I need three of those. So I'm going to say three batteries. I'm going to change the orientation. So press Alt key and press R at the same time. You can rotate if you like. Uh, notice here you got the red terminal I'm going to connect the red terminal with the red right here and the black terminal goes to the black rail right here and then I can uh, it's very important that you do color coding here right so 
everything that's red is basically your positive terminal of your battery and everything that's black that's basically the negative terminal of the battery ground in other words so negative shorting negative to negative and also shorting positive to positive so that means we have power on both the rails of the breadboard the top rail as well as the bottom rail again I'm gonna make this black because these are the grounds first thing we need now is these switches correct and we need eight of those switches so just go to the search engine actually it's right up here so I'm gonna drag my switches so now that I have all the eight switches uh, next thing I could do is actually supply 5 volts actually it's gonna be 1.5 volt times 3 so 4.5 volts so basically connect uh, power to the switch okay so I'm gonna use the rightmost terminal which is terminal 2 as labeled middle one is the common or wiper in other words right so connecting the positive to positive uh, basically terminal 2 right next thing is getting the LEDs and we will need 13 LEDs 8 LEDs for the two inputs A and B and 5 LEDs for the output and we are using these LEDs to indicate our inputs and outputs both right so let's get those LEDs now we're gonna have to ground each of the LED we're gonna run each of these LEDs through a resistor so that uh, you know we don't end up burning our LED uh, one kilo ohm actually what is the value of the resistor a 220 ohm resistor value would work so just go in there and just simply just connect it to the ground like this make sure you have your resistor value set to 220 ohms now that I got all the resistors hooked up to all the negative terminals of the LEDs I'm going to change the color so I can differentiate between the two so my input a this is my uh, 4 bit input a and this right here is my 4 bit input B 5 bit output I'm gonna keep this red change this to green and change the output LED colors to blue okay the next thing we are going to do now we are going to drag the 74HC283 which is a 4-bit adder so let's get that 283 the 4-bit adder right here uh, let's look at the pin configuration right here this is the ground so I'm just gonna simply take care of the ground first uh, this is the power so power is gonna go here okay I'm gonna make that wire red so I know which one is which now if you hover around your mouse at the pins you will know okay this is output bit 1 this is input 1b this is input 1a this is in output 0 this is input 0a input 0b and carry in by default carry in is also going to be zero so I'm just gonna make it connected to the ground and make this wire black so I know this is all ground so remember that this is uh, your most significant bit okay and this right here is your least significant bit this right here is your least significant bit and similarly over here you have your most significant bit here and then you have your least significant bit here okay okay so let's make connection for all the input a and I'm gonna start off with this least significant bit the red LED the rightmost red LED and this is going to I'm gonna look for input 0a which is right here so this goes simply right here so that was straightforward all my inputs a will be say green wire or red wires actually 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the color to orange. Uh, oh, maybe yellow. How does yellow look? Well, um, yeah, let's do orange. Okay. Let's do all the red LED orange. So this means all my orange wires will be input A. Okay. Okay. Now I need, I need to have input 1A. 1A is right here. So this goes here. This is your input 1A, correct? So this is input 0, input 1, input 2, and input 3. Now I need to have input 2. Input 2A, this is right here. So I'll go this way, then this way, and this way, and then go this way right and make it straight if you like so it looks neat and tidy now input 2a so let's look at for input 2a where is input actually input 3a goes here and then from here to here right so whenever this switch is zero right now it will give a zero logic to this pin and if this is switch is set to high uh, which I, I have I don't have the simulation going on right now that means this pin right here will get logic one okay I've taken care of the input a now I'm gonna work on uh, input B so remember this is input 0 B this is 1 B this is 2 B and this is 3 B okay so let's get rolling with this part first 0 B this is 0B, so this is straightforward. And I'm gonna make all these B inputs green wires because they are green LEDs. Okay, let's now work on 1B. Where is 1B? This is 1B, right? So this goes here, and 3B goes over here, correct? Perfect. So I've taken care of the input A and input B. Now I'm gonna hook up the five blue LEDs with the output, okay? So output zero, where is output zero? Well, output zero is basically the rightmost LED here, right? Remember, this is output zero, output one, output two, output three, and the leftmost is the carry out bit. The leftmost is the carry out bit. So I'll just say C out here. C out here. And notice here, and I'm going to make this all the outputs blue, including the carry out. I can also do carry out because I know which pin is it. This goes here and goes over here. I need to work on output one now. Okay, this one. To be, I see output two, which is here. And finally, output three. So it looks like I got all the connections ready and I'm going to do a quick simulation and see how everything is looking. Let's do simulation now and say if I want to add 1 plus 1 so that's 0001 makes a code of 1 and set the 4 bit input B also 1 0001 1 plus 1 makes 2. There you go. So easy. If I make one zero, actually one one, that makes three here, and then also one one here, one three plus three makes six. The code for six is double one zero in the blue, right? How about if I do one zero one uh sorry one zero one zero that makes ten and then here I do zero one zero one so ten here 
plus 5, 10 in yellow, 5 in green, uh, 10 plus 5 makes 15, 15 makes a code of 0, double 1, double 1, right? So it's pretty simple, pretty easy, uh, and uh, tweak around with it. And like I said, in the next part, I'm actually going to show you how you can connect the 4-bit error to a 7-segment decoder to display your answer on a 7-segment. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, enjoy your rest of the day and please stay safe. Yours truly, Professor Mughal.